34 kilometers away from the busy streets of Gangtok, the capital of Sikkim in northeast India, lies the beautiful hamlet of Martham. Situated amidst the tranquil countryside, in the foothills of the Himalayas, this small village overlooks picturesque valleys covered with green paddy fields marching into the mystic forest-covered mountains. Martham is also the land of monasteries. Located at 6 kilometers from the famous Rumtek Monastery, which is the most sacred pilgrimage of the Buddhists from all over the world. It is the land of spectacular meadows, exotic floras, flying prayer flags, and smiling children. Twenty fourth of November, two thousand thirteen. Today is not any ordinary day in Martham. The calm atmosphere is filled up with the noise of flying cars, talking people and laughing children. It is the inauguration ceremony of the new retreat center of Rumtek. The roads and gateways are decorated with flowers, garlands and prayer flags. The newly constructed meditation center is situated on the top of the hill. All the lamas and guests who have been invited to this auspicious occasion are walking up the stairs to the venue. The air is filled up with the peaceful and serene chanting. School children and kids are all moving in groups. They are all having lots of fun. Lovely Sikkimese ladies in their bright, colorful ceremonial outfits are also joining the parade with their families and friends. The meandering path was leading to the top of the hill, passing the scenic landscape. As the crowd, including myself, approach the main entrance of the monastery, we all are warmly greeted by the volunteers in their exotic and colorful outfits. The ambience here is busy with the hosts welcoming the special guests and the huge number of villagers. Everyone seemed to be very happy to be present in such a nice gathering. Bhutan 
Saranam. The whole area is surrounded by green mountains. They are the spectators of the human evolution through ages and its journey towards knowledge. The mountains, the bright blue sky with hovering clouds, all are reverberating with the sounds of the holy chant. The mixed crowd walks towards the main monastery building. This building is newly constructed and named as Manogya Dhyandip Sadhana Kendra or the Meditation Retreat Center. There are people from all strands of life gathering here to be a witness to this unique and special occasion. Entering the building, we have come across a wide patch of ground where the selected monks are supposed to practice their meditation. The villagers arranged seats in the corridor for themselves. Their gestures are very much displaying the spirit of happiness and excitement. Leaving the crowd below, now I have come to one of the roofs of the monastery building. It's a wonderful view of the adjoining valley from the top. The mountains, the vast paddy fields and the far off villages soaked in the rays of the morning sun. Mm -hmm. 
visitors have gathered here too. Some other activities are also in progress here. The lamas are burning the incense and aromatic plants in the huge stove constructed on the rooftop. This is a ritual carried all over the world in the Buddhist tradition to create the auspicious smoke for cleansing and purification. Soon, the roof was engulfed with white smoke. Groups of monks are conducting various rituals accompanied by the blowing of Tibetan horns. Some other activities are taking place on the top of the Addison building. I hurriedly took the stairs. The technicians are busy installing the Ganjira, the sacred crown of the retreat center. Guests and invitees all are gathering up here and eagerly waiting for the rituals to take place. Present here are His Eminence Goshri Gelsa Rinpoche, the Regent of His Holiness the 17th Karmapa, and the Honorable Chief Justice of Sikkim, Mr. Sonam Wangdi Bhutia. Finally, the installation is over. The consecration of the Ganjira started. After that, we all came down from the roof following the monks and the guests to the central ground. Now the final moment has come. The guests and the crowd started proceeding towards the main monastery. Oh, yeah.
everyone is eagerly waiting for the chants and rituals to be over. The doors are finally open and we all started moving in. It is magnificently decorated inside where the grand statue of the meditating Buddha sits with all his glory. Here comes the offerings of the sacred rice for the monks and the guests, which is an age-old practice in the Buddhist tradition. Goja, the Tibetan name for butter tea, is also being served randomly to everyone. The ceremony continued with the chanting of mantras by the monks in their deepest tones, accompanied by the mysterious sounds of horns, cymbals and drums. Then I came across a senior monk from Rumtek. I am uh, Acharya Rigjin, so I am from the Rumtek Monastery. Actually, in the Tibetan Buddhism, there is a, a three kind of things, you know, the Sheta, Dubda, and the Chokda. Sheta means uh, just uh, learning about the Buddhism, just like a college, monastic college, and another one is, uh, what to say, the uh, praying, just like a monastery, and another one is the meditation, you know, these three things. This meditation center's name is uh, Dubde Yongling. Dubde e warning. So, so what's the system of meditation here, over here? Actually the meditation is uh, just control of mind. The meditation is just control of mind. Actually all knowledge is uh, within our mind. All exactly. Buddhas, Brahma, Vishnu, you know, Lord Shiva, those all knowledge we have already. But uh, that, those kind of knowledge is uh, just covered by some emotion. So because of those negative emotion, we cannot see our real quality. So
So when we re regularly doing the meditation, thereafter we can realize the, our real nature. So this is the system. Uh, for that, first we have to learn some philosophy, mm -hmm. and then after get some oral transmission, mm -hmm. then some empowerment. Otherwise, uh, if we do some meditation without knowledge, it is cannot. So when we join the meditation at the time, we have to take all the basic education from the monastery. Otherwise, if we directly join here and do the meditation, it is not sufficient and not possible. Gradually, the morning flowed to afternoon. The guests were offered the sacred meal and the event continued with different cultural activities. The next morning, I left Martham, bidding farewell to my host, Mr. Tamding. As my car started descending the meandering roads to Gangtok, I could still listen to the resonance of the chanting, and as I closed my eyes, the smiling and the meditative image of the Buddha gave me a glimpse of eternity. <laughs>